Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, feel free to check your other placements. We're going to look at how your person is currently feeling. So if you are single, this could be a future person, near future person, or the person you're currently dealing with or separated from. So Aries, the person they are dealing with. How is this person currently feeling about Aries? romantic feelings okay i'm getting the message that for some of you if you are just talking to someone like especially if you just started they already have feelings for you is what i'm getting so even if you're dealing with like a new love and you guys are only in the talking stage they have feelings for you and they're not showing it <laughs> we have fear so it could be them being afraid um, to express this to you or afraid of the feelings that they have. We have magnetic attractions. So this person seriously likes you. Some of you could have met them at a party or if you're single and about to meet someone, it could be at a party. Just know that they're going to catch feelings for you real quick. If you're separated, your person still has feelings. They're still attracted to you, but there's something about the situation that makes them afraid. Maybe they're, maybe they're afraid to lose you. How's this person currently feeling about Aries? Mutual feelings like this. This reading was meant to be. Okay, I woke up today saying I'm going to do feelings readings. And you got romantic feelings, mutual feelings. Okay, so some of you, for those of you who are, who have been with this person for a while or you're in separation, whatever feelings you have for them, they have for you. Self-sabotage. I feel like this is linked to the fear. So this person may, um, if they've pulled away from you, it's because of their own fear. So they're kind of sabotaging this connection with their fears. So you may be like ready to go with them, but they're afraid. So they're stepping back. We have not for you. So maybe this person might not be confident enough for you. Or you might feel like they're not for you um, a bit later on, especially if they're new. We have release the past so this person they have some issues from their past that they need to resolve and it's affecting this connection especially if you're in separation how is this person currently feeling about aries Need some clear clear and accurate messages about this person's feelings when it comes to aries Oh God, okay, something is, okay. That eight of swords in reverse, either you might free yourself from the situation, this person's trying to find a way to free themselves from this self-sabotage. Let's see. I'm starting to pick up the energy of those of you who are dealing with someone who you're in separation with. Because I'm seeing them holding back. I'm seeing them wanting to come forward, but holding back. They feel left out in the cold. This person's somewhat intimidated by you. They feel like you are a go-getter. You make things happen. You're a great manifester as well. And they're kind of intimidated by that. Could be a Capricorn, Pisces, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. So you may have triggered this person and made them realize that they have some toxic behaviors or some jealousy or some insecurity insecurity within themselves because of this devil in reverse here. Like they're wishing to get rid of these negative feelings that they feel. They are becoming aware that they are insecure, that you kind of trigger that. You make them feel like they could lose you. And they're wanting to, they don't want to feel that way, but they do anyways. So their fear is that things could end with you. Some of you, this person has a fear of commitment, but there's a fear of um, an ending. I feel like this, some of you are dealing with someone who, does, who doesn't like to get attached. So as you see, they have feelings, but they kind of fear feelings in general. Because they kind of, some of you, this person just 
always expects some kind of ending and i'm hearing all good things do come to an end but it doesn't mean you should deprive yourself but that's where the self-sabotage comes in it's like they deprive themselves of good things because they fear that it's going to come to an end anyway so what's the point so they kind of are in this no action position at the moment they're not really not really doing anything not really taking action they're in a lot of they're doing a lot of thinking and they're they are very guarded if they've been hiding their feelings for you like if i've if you're not believing what i'm telling you when i say that they have feelings for you it's because they're hiding it with this moon and they're going to continue to hide it because this is their next move it's the position of their next move and it's the moon so they're gonna they feel safe if they haven't revealed these feelings, it's because they feel safe not revealing it. So they plan to kind of continue that, I guess, in the near future. Maybe until they're, they're sure. Position of what you need to know is the King of Cups in reverse. This person is just not there emotionally. Like, their emotions are not stable. They don't trust their emotions. They're fearful of feelings. They're in, I'm hearing, uncomfortable. <laughs> you, know, I'm, you know, I'm hearing that that scene of Kim Kardashian crying when she's like you put me in such an uncomfortable position you know you know when they made that song they remixed it into a song that's what I'm hearing so they feel like quote you put me in such an uncomfortable position um where like I said they don't like that they've caught feelings it's right next to fear So there's this energy, but then there's that energy. You put me in such an uncomfortable position. Okay. They're fighting between these two versions of themselves. The version that wants love and the version that is afraid of love. And the outcome is the three of swords, which connects with the self-sabotage. So they may find themselves feeling hurt anyways, feeling heartbroken anyways. And I'm getting for some of you, you might get fed up and, and explore another option, which will cause this person to kind of what's the word like a self-fulfilling prophecy where they could have just taken a leap with you and been with you but they decided to be afraid and hold back and then they end up seeing you with someone else so it's they end up heartbroken anyways you know so it's oh boy that's a lot why the devil in reverse like the negative of this they don't like the feelings of jealousy they may feel if other people talk to you they don't like this unstable feeling of i could lose someone especially when you go time without talking to them they start to feel that trigger of oh my god i could be losing aries and that's like the biggest fear why the five of pentacles kind of spooky oh my gosh anyways <laughs> maybe that's a sign we'll see how it ties in but yeah there was just a little mini power cut we have the um three of wands knight of wands for some of you they see you as this knight of wands they feel like you could just they feel like you're not really settled or like your, your movements are unexpected you could go somewhere else at any time or some of you could party a lot with the party card they find themselves kind of just observing you and observing where this connection is going because they really want it with the ace of cups but they feel like you're unpredictable and that's not me saying oh you should not be unpredictable and you know you are who you are but this person they're fearful and so they keep an eye on these things because they want to feel safe 
you see this kind of goes with the fear card this is their overall feeling for you the nine of wands especially those of you who have history with this person and you guys were in conflict why is the nine of wands here yeah they feel like things could be unfair unbalanced it could be a fellow aries this could be how they're viewing you afraid of you kind of intimidated by you especially with the emperor sorry the emperor the magician as well why is the moon here seven of pentacles in reverse again they wonder if they're waiting in vain and they're holding back their feelings because they feel like they're still waiting i feel like this person has no plans to reveal their feelings to you because they just don't know what's next or what could happen or how you're feeling i guess so i feel like they're in this trying to make the decision between just holding on to these feelings and waiting or letting the feelings go with the five of cups in reverse um because they feel they get the feeling that they're waiting in vain that's their overall energy seven of pentacles am i waiting in vain you know is this is this worth me catching feelings why are the king of cups in reverse lovers page of cups in reverse could be a gemini for some of you gemini libra aries capricorn Pisces, Taurus. So, again, this in the position of what you need to know is how they feel about you, the lovers, and them not communicating that with the Page of Cups in reverse, holding it back. Possibly some of you are dealing with someone who's not mature emotionally, doesn't know how to handle their emotions, so they just become fearful or reactive. Why the Three of Swords? Okay, Ace of Cups again. Okay. Could be a Scorpio for some of you. We have the Death card, the Nine of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Cups. This is so weird because there's sadness in the outcome but then there's also this relief because there's the ace of cups and there's no longer this nine of swords energy it's it's leaving their stresses are going away there's some kind of transformation some of you if you do plan to move on from this person they may see it as a blessing and i don't mean that in a bad way it's almost like and this i only feel like this is the case if it's someone you just started speaking to they kind of feel relieved that they don't have to go through the whole feelings thing if you were to just choose someone else it's kind of like they feel like you deserve better or they're just not good enough for you and you're better off without them type of thing if it's a new connection If it's someone you've been dealing with and you guys are just in separation, I see that you guys are making up with the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Swords being in reverse and there's a change here. But there's something with this Three of Swords, like something still has this person heartbroken. I don't know if some of you dealt with someone else while you guys were separating, separated or something, but seen two different outcomes there what do we have for aries and the person's current feelings okay deja vu some of you this person's been through this before been through heartbreak before and they're fearful of it happening again detachment see they'll rather be detached there's a major major fear about how they feel about you and it's not that they'll rather be detached because they don't want to be with you. It's just that they are so uncomfortable with emotions. We have surrender. We have dream come true. 
I've seen these two energies. One is that you choose someone else and they're relieved that you don't have to go through this. And two is that you guys get back together and it works out, but this person does still have that lingering fear, but they're kind of happy it worked out. So take how it resonates, because it's just these two odd outcomes I'm seeing. What's going on with this person? How do they feel about Aries? Yes. Yes, you can. This I swear, like, look how thick this deck is. Look how many cards are here. And this card, if you go back to all the past few readings, the past six, seven, eight readings, this Yes, You Can card has come out in almost every, probably every single reading. I don't know why, but it keeps coming out. So we got Yes and Yes, You Can. What else do we have? This person's feelings. Okay, take a risk, look at that, take a risk and deal with it. So that, that, now you see, like this person is a bigger risk for them to fall in love. The deal with it card I feel is for those of you who end up with this person, but they're still dealing, like while they're still with you, they're still dealing with the fear of feelings of being in love. We have to say no. So we got yes and yes you can and say no. Some of you, yes you can say no to someone. And others of you, you know what I'm getting for some of you, if you ask this person how they feel about you, if they have feelings for you, they're going to say no. And I feel like that is because of embarrassment or just the fact that, just the fact that it's too soon to have feelings, they might say no. Or if you've asked them already, they've said no. We have a bigger yes here. So, yeah. How's this person feeling about Aries? Ice King, see? Boss, entrepreneur, detached. We have detachment twice. And we have mature man, older male, mature in age. So this person, they could be older or they've had a history of heartbreak. Career, business, success, achievement. This person could be very, very career oriented, or or orientated, or uh, whatever. We have work, profession, college, workplace. So we got three cards about work: boss, entrepreneur, business, success, achievement, work, profession, college, workplace, mature man. Some of you are deal dealing with some business man or woman. Or you met them at work, you know them from work. Or someone at work has feelings for you and you don't even know it. Or if you recently started speaking to someone, they have feelings. And they feel like, why do I have feelings? It's been like two days or two weeks since we started speaking. And they're going to deny that they have feelings. I'm getting a bunch of little side messages now. That's, that's like confusing the reading. But the main thing here is the fear of this person their fear, the fact that they have feelings, whether this is old or new, and the fact that this may, you, you'd either leave this person for someone else and they'll be glad because they don't have to deal with the fear of being in love, or you'll be with them and they'll have to just deal with the fear of being in love. So Aries, this is what I'm seeing. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.